downtown. Uh, Coach Mark getting set up in the studio here. I think he's ready to go. Yes. Head coach and GM Mark LaFleur of the Gold Miners, Greg Mackle in studio. Morning, Mark. Good to see you. Good early morning. It is uh, It is early for sure. Okay, Mark, no goalie. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Three-game road trip, no goalie. <laughs> <laughs> we got one goalie. We'll be getting a second one here in the next couple of days, so uh, not everybody panic. And uh, if, if anything, you know, congratulations to Marco Dad for getting the promotion to you know go to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. So yeah, that's a uh, that's a huge opportunity for him, and uh, and uh, that's what that's what what it's all about is uh, is advancing players to the next level, and sometimes. Sometimes you hate to see a kid leave, but at the same time, it's uh, you feel you feel good when a when a kid uh, gets to uh, fulfill one of his dreams, and uh, all these kids playing at this level want to move up to the next level. So it's all good. Yeah, I mean, it's a testament to the hard work he uh, he brought to the table since day one here uh, this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you know, he's somebody who matured from a couple of years ago, yeah. and, and he's reaping the benefits out of it now. Yeah, which is great to see. His dedication, so. All the best to him, and for us, you know, uh, we tip our hats to him, and and you know we move on, and, and as we'll a, be all right. And as an organization, you got to kind of feel good that uh, that you have a kid that's moving on to the next level. It means that you know you guys are doing yeah, something right. Exactly, and uh, you know, his promotion means an opportunity for you know for somebody else. Yeah, you know, and and, and Maz has been doing very well so far this year. So, um, you know. We'll go from there. So, um, hopefully, there will be a new goalie um, um, signed, sealed, and delivered by the time we. Uh, there will be. By the time you guys uh, get on the bus for the three. Yeah, there party. will be. We uh, we we already have somebody in mind. It's just a matter of getting the uh, the paperwork processed, which will be done here in the next couple of days. Okay. And he'll be on the road with us. Perfect. So uh, let's talk about this uh, weekend road trip coming up. Ooh, gonna be a tough one. Elliott Lake Friday night, Mark, after a hard-fought game on Sunday, which was a yeah. low-scoring, hard-fought, hard-fought game. Yeah, I mean, uh, Friday night was one of those where I think you had asked me the question after uh, Macker about, you know, deserving a better fate. And in, in my response, well, you know what, both teams, <laughs> I think both teams played, you, you know, played for the two points. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just, you know, a bounce here and a bounce there. And... Uh, you know, they came out on top. It was an entertaining hockey game as a as a spectator. What I was, was surprised at, Mark, was your start after you know playing it in the afternoon, and you guys really came out. It was it was a good start. Yeah, the uh, the afternoon game is always a yeah. You know, guys are out of their routine, mm-hmm. and, and you're worried that some of the guys that normally show up uh, get affected by it. But it didn't affect us. Yeah, we. Uh, we had our chances, especially early on. Then again, we got into penalty trouble, and um, you know, like you said, entertaining. I think that four on four and three on three brand of oh, hockey that's is, fun to is watch. terrific. That's fun. Yeah. I, if, now, from a, you tell me what it's like from a coaching perspective, because it's a blast to watch as a fan, but as a coach, I'm not so sure. Oh yeah. It's fun to watch for you guys too behind the back. Oh yeah. And, and nerve wracking too. Now, is there I heard this discussion, uh some NHL guys were talking, <clears throat> and I heard this discussion that when you get to three on three, there's no more coaching involved. All it is, it's man on man. Yeah, basically. That's all it is. Yeah. But, and, but, and, isn't it a puck position? Puck position. Yeah, you don't want to give I, it away, right? You don't want to give it away, and we gave it away a bit too much, I thought. Um even four on four, that's my philosophy. It's a puck possession game. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I was seeing some dump ins and, you know, that it's something we're going to have to work on because it, it is part of our game now. So, it's also something that I would imagine the players aren't all that used to yet because it's still re- a relatively new thing in our game, right? Yes, but it, it's new to our game in, in junior hockey. But I don't think it is to the kids who have been playing some three on three and four on four, you know, hockey throughout the summers now for probably f- for the past six, seven, oh, yeah, eight years. That's, that's so true. Definitely, but summer hockey. My son played in the stuff. tournament two years, two springs ago, and that's what it was. Is three four, on, yeah, three, three on three, three tournaments. Yeah, yeah three, three on three. You know okay. what? I, I just uh, 
we have to work on it as a team, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I, I just noticed some things out there when we were playing four and four and three on three. I really didn't like, and, and it's something that I have addressed as a head coach. Yeah, um, because those points can be very important at the end. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this road trip, I just did the math. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> the three teams are twenty five, eleven, and three, and that's with the Sioux Eagles being four and eight. So yeah, the Sioux Thunderbirds are thirteen and one, and Elliott Lake is eight two and three. So. It's going to be a tough weekend. Mark. It's going to be an extremely tough weekend. Um, we'll just take it period by period right now. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, try to win the period and, and go from there. We're going to have our peaks and our valleys. We just got to make sure when when the other teams are, you know, are having their, you know, their uh, their opportunities that we keep them to a minimum. We, we want to keep the second opportunities down. Mm-hmm. But we just want to, we don't want to lose momentum if we have it. And we, you know, being on the road, we want to we want to play some solid. I'm not going to say conservative hockey, just smart hockey. Yeah. What do you tell a goalie uh, when you add a new goalie and with the defenseman in your own end, uh, with communication and not playing? I, that, that's you know that's a very good point. We actually worked on that yesterday with our goalies. So um, th- there's certain basics that we want from our D and the goalies and. and the finer things, for example, with the new goal coming in, we'll refine that as we go along. But for now, it's just let's just keep it simple. That if right. if this happens, then this will happen. Yeah. You guys do this. Let's just keep it at that for now. Yeah. And uh, if you know, if I'm sure, just get it out for now. Um, I'm trying to do the math here. Is Jamie Lozon back now? Yes, he is. He served as six. So that's a good guy to have on the road. Oh, definitely. Oh, no kidding. You know, not, not not only to have an extra body as a Ford, but a, a, a valuable body. And, and again, I, I've always admired as a Ford what he brings to the table. Mm-hmm. And, and it's something that you don't see out of many Fords these days. Um, yeah. Again, that Ford check-in type, that in-your-face type. So um, he's definitely going to be an asset that we I thought we've missed the last... Well, the last six games. Yeah, exactly. Um, everybody else healthy? You guys? Uh, any? Any? Anybody get nicked up last weekend? Um, no. We're uh, you know you, you got a couple of bumps, yeah, bumps and the usual there, bumps you know, and bruises, but, I mean, but nothing there, major. Nothing major in terms of uh, you know you won't be seeing you know player A or player B for a while. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it all starts tomorrow night against uh, Elliott Lake. Will be a tough one. Then on to the Sioux Eagles and Sioux Thunderbirds on Sunday afternoon, which is an annual tradition. It seems like isn't it? it? Well, close to yeah. And then uh, <laughs> like our, our schedule, the next the next seven or eight games, if you look at it, is real it's tough. a beast. So uh, you know we just got to like I said, we got to take it game by game, period by period, shift by shift. Well, it'd be a good test for you guys and uh, give you an idea of where where you stand at this point of the where season. Where we need work and where we don't and whatnot. Exactly. <clears throat> Exactly. It's all good. I just got closer here to Macker. I was going to say, uh, I hope you don't have the flu here. uh, (laughs) This is that bubonic plague's gone away. (laughs) Because we're real close today. This is uh, kind of a unique situation here this morning where... um, Well, we had problems earlier, right? Yeah, we've had some technical (laughs) issues. uh, You know, it's getting close to Halloween. The gremlins are out. And uh, Mark's mic was not working properly when we started this. So Greg and Mike, Greg and Mark rather, are sharing a mic. It's like we're in the and same And at here. times they're almost cheek to cheek <laughs> behind the microphone, <laughs> which is starting to it frighten me a little bit. I, 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 else. I feel like Archie and Veronica in, in a uh, Archie comic at the restaurant with the milkshake right now. <laughs> So we're just fostering a closer relationship between between the the sports director and the coach this morning. At least he doesn't have the bubonic plate this way. <laughs> Mark, thanks for doing this today. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, have a uh, have a great road trip, and uh, I think we're taking two or three on the weekend. I think that'd be a pretty good road trip. Coming back with uh, with four points out of a possible six. Seven forty three. Seventeen minutes now. Be four eight o'clock.